How can being negative affect your manifestation? Welcome to Uncensor with 7K. I am 7K. I am a relationship, life, and manifestation coach, and I combine all three to help you achieve the abundance, love, and manifestations that you so much desire. So welcome to the world of manifesting. Obviously, you guys are tuning in because there's something about this particular topic that has affected you or you noticeably are being having your manifestations affected and you've already seen evidence of this so you have intended you're doing your imaginal acts you're constantly affirming and you're waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and you're not seeing evidence of your manifestation and one of the things that many of my clients and you probably have uh, some sort of relation to this you guys feel that it's just not going to happen and so there goes the inner conversations and with others that are just super negative. Now, negative conversations can also come from past traumas, past experiences, past hurts and pains. A lot of you may have just had a breakup in a relationship. So I'm sorry of that because I experienced that. Um, and you are manifesting an SP or an X back and you are barraged, bombarded, overloaded with negative conversations, people, places and things. So let's get into it. This is um, going to be a very brief video. So just grab a quick cup of coffee or wine, sit down and just listen. Our brain, um, which is part of your consciousness, has over 85,000 thoughts a day. And that's a lot, a lot of thoughts. And while we cannot stop thinking, we can absolutely control the content of our thoughts and conversations to a very large degree. You want to imagine your consciousness as your device or a computer or an iPad or whatever you use on a daily basis. And every time that you add a program or you upload an app, your device has to act on that app because that's what it's for. Your consciousness is very much the same. Every time that you have a consistent negative conversation with someone, every time you have a consistent negative conversation with yourself, and every time you're practicing negative behaviors, consider those uploads or apps that are enforcing your consciousness to prove to you that those acts are real and it becomes real. That is the job of your consciousness. And so these consistent behaviors, conversations and are basically affirmations. So every time that you have told yourself, I'm never going to have that, I'm never going to move into the new home, I knew he or she wasn't going to call me or text me, I knew I couldn't lose that weight, those are uploads to your consciousness. And now your consciousness, your source, your universe, your inner God's responsibility is to go out and find the evidence that's going to prove to you that that is true. And so what happens is you're manifesting. While that's not intentional, now you can intentionally change what you are doing by reverse engineering it so i want you to imagine a room that's full to capacity and when new people are trying to enter they are rejected there's nowhere for them to fit there's no space and that's what negativity is doing to your manifestation you are so congested with an over capacity with negative behavior conversations with yourself and others that when your manifestation is getting close it has no space to land so you got to start ridding yourself, cleanse yourself of these negative conversations and behaviors with yourself and with others. Okay, so by reverse engineering it, I want you to think back about everything that, that was negative that's happened to you and think about what you did prior to that event happening. You were talking about it consistently, imagining it consistently, and constantly talking to others about it until eventually it happened. Ladies and gentlemen, that is manifesting. So by reverse engineering it, you're going to do the exact same thing, but with positive conversation. And so some of the ways that you can start ridding yourself of negative conversations with yourself, with others, and being in a negative space constantly is first, try getting a rubber band and plucking it every single time you find yourself having a negative conversation with either yourself or someone else, or rid yourself of being in negative spaces. Yes, it's going to require sometimes that you love certain people from a distance. It's, it may require that you cut some people off that are in your life. Negativity is self-sabotaging and it's poisoning your thoughts. It's very, very, very hard on your body, your health, and your, your mental well-being. 
And it absolutely is sabotaging and slowing down and even completely stopping your manifestation. Because if you're manifesting an SP, but you're constantly telling yourself and affirming that he's never coming, then that's what you're manifesting. So it's not that you're not manifesting. You're just not manifesting what you really want. You're manifesting what you're negatively, consistently talking about to yourself and others. All right. So some other things that you can do to improve being more positive and having peace of mind is get more rest six to eight hours a day. Refrain from drugs and alcohol because they alter your state of mind. You want to start exercising, meditating, eating a clean diet, maybe get some supplements. Sometimes a lack of vitamin, certain vitamins and nutrients can actually make you feel bad and can trigger having more negative conversations just because you just don't feel good. You want to also start watching anything on TV that's more positive, that makes you laugh and listen to positive music. You also want to start going to places that promote positive behavior and you want to be around positive people. So if you're constantly in negative environment and you're constantly around negative people and you're constantly drinking or you're using drugs, um, there's just no way that you're going to find it easier to get rid of being a negative person or constantly talking negative. So what we want is to cleanse ourselves from these behaviors. Sometimes it may require therapy for things that are a little more intense and super traumatic that are triggering these negative conversations and behaviors. So we want to be able to also do acts of gratitude. That's another way to promote positivity and being a positive person. Once a day, you want to either text or call someone or journal something that you're really, truly grateful for because it is so easy to just ignore what we do have, what we're grateful for, and just constantly talk about what we don't have and what we've lost and what's never going to be, right? That's another beautiful way to rid yourself of negative behavior. I hope this video helped. And I thank you for your time.